Hello everybody, um, Redline Studios, welcome back. Today I thought I'd do a tutorial on my 4-speed transmission. And so I'm just going to pan over all the parts you need so that you don't get halfway through and realize, oh no, I don't have one of the parts. This is going to be kind of a quick tutorial. I'm not going to micromanage everything. I'm just going to kind of go in layers. So first thing you'll need is you'll need to build this two of these frame pieces, eight long brick, two layered six long plates on top, like so. You're going to take another one of those, like this, and you're going to have two eight long axles, 16 tooth gear, three bearings. You're going to put one on one 16 tooth gear on this side, and the other will be on the other side. So it should look like this. You're going to take your other frame piece, put it like that. You're going to put a 20 tooth gear and a 12 tooth gear on the back of those eight long axles like this. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take these two more six long plates and just put them like this for stability. Awesome. Next layer. So I'm pretty sure you're all familiar with how this clutch gear works. You just have a axle locker in the middle, clutch ring, and two clutch gears. So make those. One axle on one side should be three long, the other should be four long. Repeat, but on the second one make the axle five long. Um, kind of same frame. Eight long with um, two eight long plates layered on top. And then you'll need to make two of those. And then you kind of put the clutch gears and the clutch rings inside of this. And put the other frame piece on. So you have something like this. And then you're going to take a 24 tooth gear and an 8 tooth gear and you're going to put them on the longer axles. The 24 tooth gear should be on the 5 long axle and the 8 tooth gear should be on the 4 long axle. So the second layer pretty much looks like this. Alright, and then you're going to layer it on... So, so far you should have something that looks like this. Alright. Last thing is the shift selector. Um, I'm not really too particular about this, but this is my favorite design. You just have some axles, a beam, you have these four prongs sticking out, and make sure you have two of these in the middle so that it's hard for your shifter to select the gears when it's in between the clutch rings. And uh, you're going to take this shift selector gear special, you're going to put it inside these prongs and beams with a five long axle. So it should look like this. Okay. And then I'm going to put a bearing on that axle so it doesn't fall out mid-shift. You're going to take these bricks with square holes and put them on all four prongs. You don't have to have four prongs, three or even two works fine, but four is the strongest. So it'll end up looking like this. And then you can use whatever shift selector um, shaft you want. This is just the one that I like. So we're left with this. We're going to put it on top of the um, clutch rings. And it's kind of hard if you mess it up, but you'll get it figured out. And then we're going to put one axle locker on this 24 tooth gear on this side, and another one on the 20 tooth gear on the back. So, um, uh, yeah, this is the input, this is the output. Try experimenting with gear ratios, I really haven't calculated them, but 
credit to whoever made this first. It's a commonly used design. If you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. It would make my day. Um, yeah, have a great day. Um, hope this transmission works for you. Alright, bye.